Hey folks, this is just a quick addendum to the video I posted regarding the trim system. Here is the assembly all built. I meant to add this picture uh, to the video, the original video, and I forgot to get it off my camera. So this is what it looks like. And here's a shot of that bell crank or the cam system looking long ways. And you can see how suddenly those two pieces that you had to fabricate are pretty important so that as that rotates up and down, uh, it, it does, you know, it clears either side, doesn't scrape up against either side. That's what I was talking about before. Again, I wish I had added this to the original video. And finally, two important notes. One is that you can uh, use a simple 9-volt battery on the two white wires, uh, the two solid white wires on the servo itself to run the servo left and right. And to just to get it to go one direction, you, you, know, you hook up the white wires. To get it to go the other direction, you just turn the battery around and hook it up the other way. Uh, that's how I tested this thing. It's a 12-volt servo, but it will run on 9 volts. Another important thing is, is this servo will stop itself. Uh, this is a very sophisticated and good servo, so if you, if you run it all the way, it will actually get to an internal stopping point, and it won't, like, keep trying to run and, you know, grind its gears apart. It has stops. But what that means is you may have to cut the housing a little bit to uh, accommodate those stops because the last thing you want to do is have it bump up against the the housing and continue to grind to try to push farther when there's no you know it can't you want it to be able to move until it stops completely on its own and if you look at the the bell crank there i had to cut a little bit of a notch out slightly past where it was before to accommodate that natural stopping point so this is a diagram of the piece that you'll be working with and here's a highlight of the area that we're talking about. And if I zoom in, you can kind of see the little notch cut out here. That's it, guys. Just uh, wanted to give you that quick addendum. Like I said, I'm sorry I hadn't put this in the original. Anyways, thanks a bunch. I'm going to head back out to the hangar and continue working on this plane. See y'all later.